Hello everyone and welcome to our Google Doc web quest. The purpose of this assignment is to familiarize yourself with a lot of the tools that you'll need to be successful when using Google Docs. Uh, when we're using technology in my science class or any of your other classes, we don't want the technology to be the reason that you don't succeed in an assignment. We want you to be able to just use the technology and understand it so that you can demonstrate what you know. So. This assignment will work, uh, walk you through a lot of the basic tools that you'll need to be successful with Google Docs. And if you uh, uh, follow this all the way through and learn it, it will make your life a lot easier, I promise you that. So without any further uh, delay, let's go ahead and look at task one, which is to insert a three by three table below this sentence and then color the middle cell purple. So to insert a table, you can just go up to our insert column are in the toolbar here. So you'll just click insert, find table, and you don't click, you just hover over table and it brings up this grid. And that's how you can select how many columns and rows. So I'm gonna go three columns, three rows to get a three by three table. And since I was clicked at the end of this sentence, it puts the table automatically below. And then the next part is color the middle cell purple. So I need to select the middle cell, select the background color option up in the toolbar. It looks like this paint can. If you don't have this, you might have three dots over here. It's called an overflow menu. So if I click this and I've resized the window, now I just have this overflow menu and I can click that to find the paint can. So the size of your window determines what this toolbar looks like, but find the paint can, we would select purple and then it will have colored the middle cell purple. When you add a table below a question like this in a numbered list, it'll add a second number. I'm just going to go ahead and delete that so the numbering makes sense again where it's one, two, three. Task two, edit this sentence so it has size 14, Arial font, bolded, underlined, and italicized. To change any of the formatting of a sentence that's already typed, we have to select the sentence. We do that by just clicking on one end and then dragging across. So I've selected this sentence and now under the toolbar, I can click on the font button and select Arial. Under the font size, I'll select 14 and then I will bold it, italicize and underlined and that task is done. So all those functions are right in the toolbar. Highlight this sentence red is task three. Again, we select the sentence. There's two different coloring options up here. This A is the text color. That changes the color of the actual writing. This highlighter changes the background color. And since we want to highlight this sentence, we will select this. I usually like to go with lighter colors, not a really dark red when I'm highlighting. It makes the text easier to read, uh, but that's obviously up to you. So I've now highlighted that sentence red. Four, insert a picture of your favorite animal into this cell below. There is a couple of different ways that you can insert a picture into Google Docs. I'll show you both. Use whichever one is easiest for you. My favorite animal is a wolf. So I'm just gonna open up a new tab here, type in wolf, go to images, and I'm gonna use this first one here. I can right click on the picture and I can copy image. So if you didn't see that, right click, copy image, and then in the cell here I can right click paste which is a keyboard shortcut of control V so I can also just hold control V to paste that in and there's the picture the other way you can add a picture is with this explore button in the bottom right corner so in the bottom right corner of the page we can hit explore I can just search wolf in here I can click on images and then I can just hit the plus button to insert an image. So you can use Google Explore or you can just open up a new tab and copy and paste in. Either one works, uh, so whatever you find easiest is up to you. Number five, insert a drawing in the table cell below this question. Draw anything you like as long as it's school appropriate. I'm not looking for a masterpiece here that would take far too long. This is just playing around with the drawing tool. To find the drawing tool, Again, you go to the insert column here, insert, drawing, new. 
If you've already made a drawing, you can find it in your Google Drive, but we're going to do a new drawing here. And just to show you some of the options under actions, right? You can download your document when you're done. You can uh, create word art. You can add a ruler, guides. You can make things snap to a grid. Uh, there's some grouping and ungrouping if you have multiple shapes. So there's quite a few options under here. Edit undo, edit redo. You can zoom in or out. We can draw a variety of lines, arrows, elbow connectors, curves, right? You can just scribble. We can add shapes. You can add text boxes. And of course, you can add images that you can do a Google search right in here. Anything you've downloaded to your device, you can upload. Uh, so there's lots of options. I'm just going to do a scribble of a smiley face to save time. So then once I've done that, I'll hit save and close. And there's my hand drawn smiley face. You can use those tools with your touch screen on your computer as well, which can make drawing a little bit easier. Next is to share this document with me, mimtanner at psdschools.org and make sure it is set to can view so that if you share it with someone, they don't necessarily edit your document. To share a document, you go up to the share menu and then you can add the people you want to share it with. So I would just do M Tanner at PSD schools, select them. You can notify the person with you want. And this is where you change how they can access this document. Right now I'm an editor. So if I wanted to share this with me only as a viewer, I would change it to viewer and then hit send. This is already saved with me. So I'm going to hit cancel. You would hit send. Task seven, take a picture of yourself using the camera on your computer and then insert the picture in this cell below. To do this, you'll go to, uh, there's two options. You can either go insert and then you can go to image, camera. So you can go insert, image, camera. So insert, image, camera. Or on the toolbar, there's already an insert image button over here. So you can also just go click that button, camera. If you've never used it before, you'll have to hit allow. So you need to allow Google Docs to use your camera. Then you can just snap the photo, and then hit insert. I forgot to click inside the cell. So I'm just going to click this, right click, cut. Click in the cell, right click, paste and now it's in the right spot. So cut and paste is a really good way to move things if they end up in the wrong spot. Uh, take a picture of something outside and insert it in the cell box. You don't need to actually go outside. Uh, mostly what I want you to see is on your school computers, there is a front facing and a back facing uh, camera. So you can go insert again, image, camera, and on your school computers, mine that I'm using does not have this, but on yours, there is a front facing keyboard. So you can actually switch your camera and point your computer at something and take a picture of it and then insert it in there. But I will be skipping that for now. It's the same procedure. You just choose a different camera. Number nine is practicing keyboard shortcuts for copy and paste. Copy is control C. Paste is control V. To copy something, you have to select what you want to copy. Now I'm going to show you my on-screen keyboard so you can actually see the buttons you'd use, but you would press and hold the control button, CTRL, on your keyboard, and then select C and let go of both. So when you hit C, you let go of control as well, and it will be copied. Then you would go to your new cell, you would hold control, and then click V to paste, and that's how you'd use keyboard shortcuts. Control C is copy, control V is paste. I'm going to get rid of my on-screen keyboard, and then you can just keep pasting in to every single cell, and it makes it a lot faster. Number 10 is about hyperlinking. I've asked you to find a video from either Veritasium, Vsauce, or Mark Rober, and then hyperlink it to this sentence. So I would just do Veritasium YouTube, 
It'll take me to his channel. I'm just going to choose the first video that I see. This gives me the URL. So this bar up here is what's called our URL bar. So I'm going to select that using the keyboard shortcut of control C to copy or right click copy. If you're not familiar with the keyboard shortcut, either one works. So now I've copied that link and now I need to hyperlink it into this sentence. In order to do that, I select the sentence. There's a couple different ways. You can do insert link. That's the first. You can also select a sentence, just use the link button, insert link button on the toolbar. Or if you see here, you can use the con uh, keyboard shortcut control K. So I'm going to click insert link. And now I need to paste that link that I had. Remember, you can either do right click paste, or I can do control V to paste in that link, hit apply. It will highlight the text blue and underline it. And when I click on it, it will show a preview of that link. That is called a hyperlink. If you ever want to get rid of it, you just click on it and then choose the remove link button. But that's how we do a hyperlink. Uh, number 11 is practicing with the explore button. And you're going to add a picture of a puppy. So we'll hit explore, search puppy, images. I'm just going to add the first one in. Task 12 says to crop the image above to focus on the puppy's face. To crop an image in Google Docs, you just double click the picture. So if I click the picture once, it'll give this blue outline over the top. This blue, uh, and you've got different resize options and rotate options. If I double click, you still get those blue rotate and resize options, but you also get these black bars inside. And those are our cropping bars. So if I select the black bar, I can move that and then just crop in right on the puppy's face. So that teaches you how to crop a picture within Google Docs. And then step 13 is just to turn it in. I'm not axing this through a Google assignment. You are. So up in your toolbar up here, you should have a button that just says turn in. You'll click that and then you'll follow the prompt to complete turning in the document. And it's as easy as that. So Google Docs is pretty powerful, uh, but only if you know how to use the functions. I recommend going through these toolbars and playing around and seeing what the options there are. What can you do under file? What can you do under edit? What can you do under view? You know, what are the insert tools, the format tools, different tools for spelling and grammar, word counts, citations. Uh, Google Docs has a lot of things, but you've got to play around and explore with it. Uh, so I certainly did not show you a comprehensive list of what Google Docs can do, but these are the tools that you're most likely to use in my classroom and probably other teachers' classrooms as well. So I hope this helps and have a great day.